again with this top how incredible being completely honest we got rejected for does this look good i this is my kind of thing like hi and welcome to the vlog today is wednesday morning i have just pulled out a load of things out my wardrobe because i want to film a party wear styling video i did do a massive h&m order but it's not come i don't know if there's something going on with the couriers or something because i ordered it two or three weeks ago and it's still not arrived but yeah i'm gonna make do what i've got i've also got some just like general clothes and bits and bobs to show you and i'm shooting a outfit for a brand on instagram um but first before we get into that i wanted to like give you a little update on my kitchen because my last video was a house tour and i we've been in for a couple of weeks and i've just i've like revamped the kitchen a little bit let me show you so it's not finished but as you can see by that wall i'll explain that in a minute but i have like repainted the cabinets and added new black candles on it i've also added this like fake marble surface surface it is not the best but at least it's sort of clean looking and better in that way um so this wall i like i'm not finished painting this room because we got this wall replastered in the tour you'll see that this was all tiled and when we moved in the tiles were disgusting like you did not want to cook against that so we got it replastered i took all the tiles off and we got it replastered but then i noticed that it wasn't drying you can even see here like it's still not dry this is plus plaster paint like you can use it over wet plaster but i've scrubbed it off a bit because we realized that the shower is leaking so we're getting the bathroom done next which is nice but yeah i'm just waiting for that to dry i'm gonna paint all over it i've sealed the bath and yeah i'm looking forward to getting the bathroom done and if you're interested in seeing that i will definitely document it also this is our current super glamorous dining room setup yesterday i went to visit one of my favorite shops to go in one of the only shops i actually like going in which is like a charity furniture shop because i'm keeping my eyes out for like an old vintage style table not because like i want to match the the decor <laughs> i'd like to do it all fresh decor but i'd love to like grab a really nice like mid-century modern dining table like for cheap that would look great in this space imagine it all being sort of like neutrals with a lovely old like wooden table i think i might have to show you inspiration pictures so you know what i mean but yeah so i keep i keep going in there i keep looking on facebook marketplace they have lovely things like um you know really cute old like ceramics and um i saw this like ashtray type thing that i really quite like to look up it was five pounds i think they're getting above themselves sometimes it's very popular yeah it's a really cool place and i love looking around that shop i'll definitely have to take you with me one time just taking alvin for a little run around in the forest before we go down to the studio so the reason that we aren't doing like the kitchen up properly straight away number one like money reasons number two hopefully one day that will turn into a utility and we'll have like an extension at the back but not just yet i wanted to talk to you about the process of getting a house and how incredibly stressful it is oh my goodness yeah they tell you it's so stressful but wow the journey that we've been on for the past like three maybe three years so yeah it was three years ago that i first went to like a mortgage advisor and got the process going and then obviously we had to save like get lots of tax returns and things like that up and then the process of house viewings oh my goodness for our house it was 50 people in one day they only had one day of viewing and then it was like blind bids they couldn't tell you what other people had put down so we offered the best we could and then the estate agent kept bringing us and he clearly liked us and wanted us to offer more like he said there's higher bids and we were like you know sorry like we hadn't you know that was top of our budget and this wasn't the house first house we viewed i'd put down bids on other houses bought to get viewings of oh, places are horrible and so expensive so as well as fighting just to get like a viewing for these crazy expensive properties look at this place it's really cute let me just show you <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Alvin. <laughs> um, so, we're, so as well as fighting just to get a viewing, I was fighting against the clock as a self-employed person to do with, you know, tax returns and all that stuff. And we only had a certain fine out amount of time to get this house before it was out for us for like three to five years, right? So, when... So naturally when we got it, we were absolutely like ecstatic, elated. I thought the battle has been won, like it's over. No. Being completely honest, we got rejected for three mortgages. It was the most stressful, horrible, just like uh, when you're looking back in hindsight and knowing that we got the house, it, it obviously seems silly. And I thought it at the time, I was like, you know, life is not just like getting a house. But also having your life on hold for so long can just really start getting to you. And yeah, I got really ill with stress this year, which was a new thing. So when I get very stressed, I get terrible tummy aches and fatigue and yeah. yeah so that's really fun. <laughs> Things have turned out how they've turned out and I'm so happy to be feeling better. And yeah, I'm, I'm just loving, enjoying having the house. Alvin is not the biggest fan of walks and is trying to pull me to go home currently. Yeah, we go, we're going back. We actually got Alvin when I when we got rejected from the first mortgage. I was so sick of my life being on hold because I was waiting to get the house before we got a dog, and I was just like, that's it. I'm not I'm not playing by the rules anymore. And we got a dog, and we got a small one because we were in a flat. And we didn't know if we would be in a house. But yeah, now Alvin has a lovely garden and lovely forest nearby because we've moved to a different area, so. Okay, welcome to the studio. Alvin's having a little nap behind me. I thought I'd just show you this coat. It's from ASOS, but last year, and I always get asked about it. Um, I know Weekday have got one similar and I know ASOS have one similar, so I'll definitely link them below. Okay, today we're shooting for a brand called South Street and they I picked out a couple of items on their website and I'm going to post on Instagram. First one is like a knitted set, which I think I prefer actually. So I think I'm going to shoot both actually. They're both nice, but I, I really like this knitted set. And I'm going to start with some Ugg boots. And I'm going to shoot in here because their Instagram feed is like really clean. So I'm guessing they would like clean kind of imagery. I also picked out this royal blue set. I love this royal blue colour. Quite a cool like streetwear, very casual, athleisure kind of vibes brand. Um, I'm going to shoot this one as well. Okay, this is the first look I'm going to shoot. I actually really like it. I love this rugby style knitted top and just like the trim on it is really nice that ribbing and things like that okay this is outfit number two royal blue sweatpants and jumper it's actually nice and cozy and i particularly like these sweatpants they're nice and baggy i like this color so i brought a load of party wear stuff that we're gonna look at and i actually think it's gonna be better like we're losing the light because it's like two o'clock three o'clock so I actually think it's going to be better though in un like artificial lighting because then all the sequins and sparkles and stuff show up. So yeah, we're going to put, so I haven't actually decided on the outfits, we're going to put some together. Yeah, so I'm going to do a styling video. So my plan is to do sort of smart casual party wear ideas, sort of like, you're not going, it's not like black tie, but maybe you're going to like the bar with friends or something and you want to look like kind of Christmassy but kind of not maybe this jumper is a bit heavy for it but I think this outfit's really cute I like the idea of mixing sequins with a jumper and I like the idea of um like a sequin piece I actually bought this in the summer to wear in Mykonos so like the idea of multi-use items I hate the idea of buying a sequin piece or something for party wear that you can never wear again so yeah that's my idea behind all these styling videos. And this is outfit number one. Mango jumper, H&M skirt, H&M boots, Shokimu's bag. Okay, look, number two. I need to tell you that Alvin has been looking at me progressively more and more worried. Alvin? He doesn't know how he feels about party wear. He's like, that's the face I've been getting. 
Anyway, this is look number two. I feel like they're already getting progressively more and more dressy where I didn't mean them to. Um, this top is from Zara, Zara leather trousers. I am not crazy about the fit of these. Yeah, I don't know. And dangly earrings. I think I got these from H&M last year. If you are struggling for a outfit for the festive season and don't know, don't want to spend any money, just go and get a pair of earrings like this and then just wear your favorite black outfit. They just make anything festive. Anyway, yeah, this top is really cool. And my Jacquemus bag. This is my kind of thing, just like sparkly top and leather trousers. Leather trousers are for the win forever. And these um, boots are from Charles and Keith. And they are sort of semi, I think it's the length of the trousers that I don't like, actually. If you could see a bit more boot. Yeah, that would be better. Hmm. Um, yeah, these Charles and Keith boots are great because they're sort of, mid-range in between being really dressy and not really dressy but dressy and casual so you can get away with wearing them for either kind of event i mean again with this top how incredible would this be in like ibiza or mykonos or something you know on holiday oh my god amazing that would be so sparkles on hot holidays are the best okay this one is maybe my favorite i was meant to wear this to a party but tube strike so I couldn't go is this Zara like neck thing which I love weekday top which again gonna be amazing in the summer are those La Zara leather trousers again and Charles and Keith's boots I don't have any other boots um I can't decide whether or not earrings are appropriate are earrings too much I kind of think they are but then I kind of think they glam it up even more I can't decide and also I'd like my hair nicer if possible <laughs> okay I've gone with the slick back hair no earrings does this look good I this is my kind of thing like I want to turn up at the Christmas party looking like Wednesday Adams <laughs> all black but I love this scarf thing loads of lip gloss on Prosecco in hand needed Prosecco for the styling video what that would have been a good little prop but yeah this is the look is it Christmassy enough do I care <laughs> same look but just with like an oversized boxy blazer maybe if you're going to a cold festive party I don't know it's a little bit funeral isn't it but chic funeral I don't know oh my god focus Okay, next outfit, we've got this top. It's from a designer called George Trocopolis on Instagram. London-based designer, he's really cool. Sometimes does sample sales. I got this in a sample sale. And yeah, love his stuff. And these are silver trousers by Amy Lynn via Selfridges. Public desire heels and Jacquemus bag. Um, I don't know, this one's a bit alternative. A bit more dressy again and I think these trousers are so cool, but I haven't actually styled them yet. I'm also thinking this would look great. Silver, trousers, boob tube, and the tie neck thing. I think I'm gonna try that one, actually. Yeah, actually, no. <laughs> I think, because this is velvet, this is leather, and this is like metallic, that is too, too much for me. Too many textures. You can get like just little leather tie versions of this like scarf thing, and I think that would be better, maybe. Yeah, I actually think this is better, just with the sparkly earrings, black leather bandeau top, silver trousers, and the fake Amina Muadis via Public Desire. If you've noticed, I haven't got any other bags with me, but yeah, I, I this is nice. And I just wear like a blazer or any kind of jacket over the top. This is really cute if you want to be like festive, but not maybe pub festive or like bar festive something a bit more casual with the jumper i love the mix of dressed up dressed down and yeah i think this goes quite well this jumper is just from super dry okay this little arm thing is amazing it's from house of cb i actually got it to wear to their christmas party and 
ended up not being able to go um and a bit i got a really really cool dress that comes with it i'll show you it's got little feathers and it's, it's really comfy actually and it's just like so i'm wearing it with the zara corset and i love top half of this outfit i love i'm on board with love bottom half i don't know what my beef is with these trousers today but i am just not feeling them i don't know about you alvin I mean, that says it all really, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, but this top half, how cute, oh my God, love. Yeah, love these two together, quite dressy, but Christmassy. And if you love, love, love Christmas, oh my God, and love getting dressed up, House of CB, party wear at Christmas time, amazing. Do you remember when I started this and I said, I'm not doing dressy looks, look at this, oh my God. It's um, the House of CB dress freaking insane their stuff is so cool oh my god i feel like morticia adams what how amazing is this dress it's really comfortable as well um and oh just with this like whole piece like actually gives me a figure I, today it's given me a little bit of boob which is shocking because i have none and i'm just wearing it with some like pointed heels from stradivarius they like anywhere with pointed heels were sort of sold out and if money was no object i'd be wearing them with the jimmy choo black pointed heels with the diamond straps just so you know <laughs> okay this might be my last one i thought i'd throw in a more casual one for the styling video so i've got like a variation and this top is last year from zara just a sequined you know long sleeve top and zara jeans actually which i love these they need a wash because they're a bit like loose if you know what I mean and the boots the weather bag finally a different bag for one outfit and I think I would wear my hair back for this one I might even just stick it back to film the video <laughs> putting out this outfit ready to go Yes, you were. And this is how we end up leaving the studio. Come on, Alvin. <laughs> bag lady. And bagless dog. Okay, welcome to my garden. So I thought you could plant tulips with me. I'll show you what I've done already. Oh, God. Alvin's such a guard dog. So I hope it looks a little bit different from my first initial garden tour. I have just like tidied it a little bit and I have planted these pots full of tulips I'm going to show you the tulips that I've planted because I think they're amazing and I love the ones I grew last year and I've also planted them all in this bed down here there there <laughs> there and like some in here I don't really know this garden I don't know how they're going to come up but I'm interested to see and I thought I have got just a few left that I need to put in I need to shove in a pot so we could do that together so I only started to garden like two years ago I feel like I'm quite a beginner still and so I'm gonna talk through this as if you are also a beginner oh. okay so I'm just gonna fill some compost because this is quite a deep pot Okay, and now we're gonna pl basically place in the tulips. This is not that hard. <laughs> so I've got a mixture of just lots of different colors and stuff that I like. And what you do is you plant them with a the little tip facing up like this. And last year I did them quite spaced out and they looked really spaced out. So I wanna do them a bit closer together this year. I've just really enjoyed getting into gardening the past couple of years. I find it is quite like a de-stressor and I mainly just like flowers, like cut flowers. I am not a houseplant person at all. I don't have any houseplants, I don't really like them. Um, but flowers outside, especially ones that you can cut and make into like pretty arrangements are like my thing. I'm gonna do this really quite close together because I need to get rid of these. I need to plant these and it'll be a nice like 
flowery display and the reason I've planted them in pots is that so that I can move the pots around the garden because I don't really know this garden yet and I might want to have some out the front or dotted around. Alvin! Right, I'm just going to cover those up with more compost. I think it says on the packet how deep they're meant to be. Like seven centimeters, ten, ten centimeters. I, I'm not sure. I planted them really shallow last time, and they came up fine. So. So that's it and basically they will come up in April time I think, um, yeah they should flower around April and it just sits quietly in this pot until then, I'm just going to leave it in the garden. I think you can water them in but it's probably going to rain so I think I might just leave it out and wait for the rain to water it. Okay, I better end the vlog there before it gets too long. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Please let me know if you did. I've got lots of fashion, autumn, winter content coming up. And yeah, I'm just excited and happy to be back and have more time for YouTube because I just love doing it. So yeah, see you soon.